I mean, they haven't been single as long as I have. And I know for sure they haven't done the work on themselves. So what's going on? Why am I still single? It's like you'll hear sermons and preachers say, oh, God has you single because he's working on you. And that was great for the first six years. But then I'm just like, come on, God, am I that broken? <laughs> Yo, what is going on, Warband? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And today we're responding to an email submission from a guy. And I don't know if you want your name leaked, bro, but the video submission is... I am so lonely, The Single Life by uh, Breeny Lee. But before we crack into it, guys, if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to subscribe, come and join the Discord. And if you want to support the channel and get more videos, come and join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Well, let's hear what this clown has to say and her explanation as to why she is single. That you're taking so long to mend me and fix me? Don't give that explanation. Yeah, because it's someone else's um, responsibility to mend and fix you. It's not your responsibility, right? It's it's God's. It's your it's your therapist's responsibility. Everybody else's responsibility, but yours to fix yourself. Uh, understood. Message received. To single people, it doesn't help. It does not help. And of course, it has elements of truth to it. Of course, in those years I've been single, I've had time to work on myself. And I won't take that back for anything. But that's not the reason somebody is single. Because there's people out here who've never really been single at all. And they're married and they're in relationships. What work have they done on themselves? So it's not fair to say you're single because A, you're not ready. Or two, God is working on you. How, Sway? How? How? I don't think God could do any amount of work on you that would help. <laughs> but anyway, no, seriously, seriously. Oh, God. What else I gotta do? Like, what else? What else? Yeah, what else you gotta do aside from have God heal you? Like, she's just screaming, like, why am I single? Why am I single? And she doesn't want to take any advice. Like, all which she would have to do is lower her standards. Like, all she would have to... Guys, if a girl is complaining about being single, if a girl is complaining about... Guys, all they have to do is lower their standards. That's all. Can you imagine... I want you to just think outside of your room or wherever you're listening to this in. Just think about outside the legions and legions of simps and cucks that would line up to get with this girl. Right? But she, she doesn't want them. I mean, she'll take their attention, right? She'll take the attention. I mean, girls like this are just... They just need attention. I'll pull up a... I've got an Instagram on the tab next to it, guys. I mean, like, what more do I need to say? Right? The level of narcissism is insane. Like, can you... Like, I don't know how much... But Jesus Christ... You know, but she's worked on herself though, guys. She's, <laughs> oh God. He's working on me. Yeah. Okay. But how long are you going to be working on me, God? And I know that may sound really arrogant, but it's reality. That's how I was. <laughs> it's not arrogant, guys. It's just reality. It's not arrogant. Trust me. <laughs> oh, the level of delusion in this woman. Look at the eyes, man. Look at this. Run for the hills, gentlemen. Feeling. That's how I felt at the time. I'd really talk to God and just give it to God and just be like, God, are you serious? Like, are you serious? Am I that messed up? Like, how much more work do you want to do on me? And I'll start going into my pity party talking about how I've always felt lonely since I was a child. I'll start, start going back into childhood stuff. I'd cry my eyes out until I had a headache. And I'd hear God whisper, am I not enough? And I would whisper back, no, I need a Correct, I think that's a wrap, guys. I think that's... You know, sometimes I'm able to sit down and shoot more serious videos, but, you know, it's it's really late at night, and I don't have anything uh, constructive to give to this woman, guys. Maybe you guys in the comments can give some constructive uh, feedback for this woman, but at the very start of the video, like, I kind of cut in about halfway through to get to the more juicy bits, but she was saying how, wait for it guys, she's got daddy issues, surprising absolutely nobody. Um, you see, this is what happens, right? They, they jump around, they scream and they say, why am I single? They know perfectly why they are single. 
right? It's because they still want the Chad. I think this woman said she was 26, right? So she still thinks she's got plenty of time to go on that CC. And this woman, by the way, in, in this video, earlier in this video, she claimed she was celibate, guys. Can I get a raise of hands in the comments? Um, who believes that? Does that do, do any of you guys believe that this woman is celibate? Yes or no? I've, I'm going to lock in a firm no on this one, guys. A real man. I need a physical man. I need a man with real arms to give me, like, real hugs. Not spiritual hugs. Real physical hugs. One of my love language is physical touch. I want a man to help me support my dreams. Is that too much to ask? God? God, like, I really do love you. I really do. But I need to be held with real arms. I need to be heard with real ears. I need to be touched with real hands. They keep telling me, God, that you are enough for me, but why do I still feel so empty? These are some of the questions I have. Because you are empty, right? You, you can say you did all this work on yourself, you did all this, you did all that, but you are empty, my friend. You are, you are a black hole, right? G girls like this, guys, you want to get into relationships with them, you want to have long-term relationships, um, good luck with that, guys. Because women like this, they're a black hole, is what they are. They're literally bottomless. You can give them all the attention. In fact, go and give them all the attention that you possibly can. <laughs> Again, let me know how that works out for you. But, um, guys, a woman like this is going to be in a relationship with a guy, and she's never going to be happy. She, she's always, like, women in general will always do this, right? They'll always be looking out for the next best thing. Um, but this woman like this in particular, guys, she has no allegiance to you, right? You're just, you're just like a trophy, right? You're just like, okay, well, you're, you're a stepping stone. If a girl thinks she can kind of get, you know, she can uh, get into the next relationship and do a little bit better monkey branch on over here, she will, right? And, you know, the most disgusting part of this, this video, right, is like, she uses faith as an excuse for her decisions, right? So earlier in the video, she was explaining how um, she doesn't want to... If God... T she goes through a lot of guys, but she's celibate. But the reason why, in her words, that she goes through a lot of guys is because God will tell her no, apparently. God will tell her that this guy isn't the one, so she'll move on from him. But she's celibate, by the way, guys. <laughs> Right? She's, see, what's happening is she loses, she goes on a whole bunch of dates, she sees a whole bunch of dudes, she loses attraction for some of them, right? And the way she justifies moving on is she says, you know, God told me no to this one. Imagine, guys, imagine using faith as, as, a, as a shield for not having any accountability. Now, are we surprised, guys? Are any of us surprised? I don't, I don't think so, but it's, it's still disgusting to, to think about and actually watch, right? And this video, like, it has 19,000 likes and 493 dislikes, which just blows my mind, right? I don't know. I had forgotten. I had to keep it real. And obviously saying this thing to you, you may be like, you can't talk to God like that. Yes, I can. That's my relationship with him. you got to be real. Not arrogant, by the way. Not arrogant. Real, man. This single life ain't easy. I even remember telling God, like, if I'm not in a relationship in a year, then I'm gonna wild out. I was vexed. I was so angry. And lo and behold, I entered into a situation with someone that was seriously toxic because ultimately... <laughs> <laughs> It was only supposed to be friends. Oh. We should have never crossed the line. But to be honest, I was lonely. He was lonely. I was using him to fill my voids, and he was using me to fill his void. And it was just a recipe. For oh, yeah. what a what a diplomatic way to. <laughs> you are uh, you got pumped and dumped by Chad, guys. When women complain about toxic relationships that they were in, I just I do not care. It's like, it's white noise to me. It's absolutely white noise. And the reason it is white noise is because women are attracted to abusive traits, guys. As, as messed up, as unpleasant as that is to say, it is the truth. They are attracted to abusive traits. 
and the degree to which they are attractive uh, attracted to abusive traits is often determined by their relationship with their father so if they have a terrible relationship with their father um they're you know you got to crank up the toxicity a lot more right the, the toxicity has to be present um in higher doses for that woman to be attracted to you if her um you know if her relationship with her father is not so good women with relationships with their father that is you know generally quite good they'll still require toxicity um but it's just a lower amount and you know I get people who will say, you know, Taylor, that's so misogynistic, that's terrible, you're telling men to be awful to women. Um, look, I just represent the information, okay? D the fact of the matter is, it is the truth. Um, you can go out and test it yourself. But yeah, anyway, guys, I think we will leave it there. Remember, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Come and join the Patreon for some new videos. Come and join the Discord. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace. Yo boys, it's Taylor here. I just want to say thank you if you've made it to the end of the video, and if you've been enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe on your way out, join the Discord, and check out the Patreon link in the description. See you boys in the next one.